everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce how to download the company file link from the SEC Edgar database. SEC provides an API delivering JSON formatted data to external users. You can find details about API and documentation from the SEC website here. What I'm going to show you is how to use the API to download SEC filings with Python. You can use this approach to download the 10K filings for the assignment or other filings for your other project. Let's begin with some basic setup. The first thing is to import modules that we will need. These are the base URLs for SEC Edgar archives and API endpoints. SEC limits users to no more than 10 requests per second to ensure fair access to the database, so I set a sleep time of 0.2 seconds between each request. I also set a maximum number of retries to 10. The earliest digital filings available from Edgar is January 1st, 2000. And the latest date of filings available is today. If I run this part of the code, you will see the variables created. The first step is to obtain the URLs of the files that we want to download. This is achieved by this function, get filing URLs. Step is a keyword used to define a function. These are the inputs needed to call this function. The connection to the API starts here. Request.session allows us to create a session object by initiating a session class. The POST method sends a POST request to the specified server. We use the POST method when we want to send some data to the server. To make it work, we need to specify the API endpoint, the information to send, and the header. We want to send the information of the filing that we want to download to the API endpoint. The information of this filing that we want is contained in form request, which is a function we define separately here. Here. Let us pass additional information to the server. For example, an authentication header tells the server who we are. In this example, we generate our user agent credential using this function, user agent defined here. The JSON method returns a JSON object of the result. The result is stored in array result. After some cleaning up, the URLs of the filing that we want to download are stored in filing metadata. After some cleaning up, the URLs of the filing that we want to download are stored in the list Filings to download. Filings to download is an empty list at the beginning. Add the URLs of the filings we want to download to this empty list using the append method. Now let me run this function.
I want to obtain URLs of all 10K filed by Apple between January 1st, 2012 and January 1st, 2022, including amended files. Here is the output stored in Filing to Download, which is a list of filing metadata. There are 10 files. Each record includes the exception number, a txt URL, a htm URL. These URL are extracted from Query results. As it's printed, we can take a look at what it looks like. This is the response we got from the server. There's the extension number of a file, there's the CIK, there's the period ending date, file number, company name extract any filing details we want from here but in this example what we are interested in is the information that can help us construct the download urls now that we have the url the next step is to download the 10k files this is achieved using this function download filings to call this function we need to specify the folder that we want to save the downloaded filings to. The picture of the company of interest and the type of the filing that we want to download, such as 10K. Connecting to API, we call another function, download. The download function actually download and save the filings. The reason that we call another function to download the filings is that we can use either a txt URL or a htm URL to download the filings depending on the format of the filings available. Creating another function helps us avoid repeating the same code twice. We tell the download function to use the txt URL here and we use the htm url here and let's take a look at the details of the download function first that is used when we want to get a response and a status from a url the response is stored in the variable response response.content returns the content of the response in bytes. Down here, we create a directory path to save the filings to, and then save the content using the right bytes in the path level module. The download filings function calls the download function to download the filings using the URLs extracted with the getFilingsURL get function. Here, the URLs are stored in the list filings to download. We can choose to download using either the txt URL or the htm URL by specifying this input variable include filing details. Finally, we can call the download the filings function to download the files. There are 10 filings here. And this is the filing content.
The files are downloaded to the predetermined directory for future processing.